All right, Alex, uh, you get some crazy balancing cat thing going on. What, what's the deal with this? Yeah, so dig it. So, Scratch is this great program. Everyone loves Scratch. And the usual way everyone teaches is to say, hey, you have this environment. You can make the computer do anything. Now go for it. I wrote this program using Scratch where I tell this cat that this cat is balancing. I basically just wrote a little physics simulation that says he's balancing. And I'm controlling a balance bar that the cat is holding to try to make him balance. If I let it go, oh no, the cat falls. Uh, and so I can do this by hand. So now, I've been playing with this with schools, and I show this to some kids. They play with it by hand, and then I say, all right, write a program to make this go ahead and balance on its own. Make this an auto-balancing cat. An auto-cat. An auto-cat, if you will, yes. Uh, and so I gave this to some kids. I gave it to some middle schoolers. And they spent a lot of time kind of playing around with it. A couple kids hacked it and made the cat spin around so fast mm. that it looked like it was balancing because it would like flicker kind of in place, which I thought was great. Uh, a lot of kids tried doing like basic balancing and it would spin out of control and go really unstable. Uh, I gave it to another kid in ninth grade who was pretty new at it and he wrote a one-line solution which I thought was phenomenal, right here. Um, it just says change the bar's position by the negative of the velocity, of how fast it's spinning. And I wrote all these variables that they can access, like the velocity, the angle it's at, the acceleration, all those things. So they can actually see what it's doing by oh, yeah. looking at those variables. Exactly, and you can look at that in code mm -hmm. and try to make the, the bar respond to that. So this kid did exactly that. And this is this elegant solution that just works. So I love the idea of having these kind of interactive solutions that don't require a lot of programming knowledge. Scratch is so cool because of that. And I love the idea of just having a lot of challenges that if you're like, ah, I don't really know what to do, I don't want to make a video game right now, you could just open up a problem and try to solve it. So there it is. All right. Thanks, Alex. Of course.